So this is again the third generation uh, uh, addition to this trial. So one of the beauties of fractionating the busulfan or extending regimen over three weeks is we not only reduce the toxicity without reducing the impact on efficacy, uh, we also uh, have a longer period where we can give targeted agent. So if you think about it, a drug like sorafenib needs to be given orally for multiple days. And if you have a regimen that just spans over a week or four days, uh, you really don't have that drug to have an effect. But this gave us a perfect platform to add oral targeted agents. So we are presenting two separate abstracts in an oral presentation, one on sorafenib and one on venetoclax. So in the first trial, what we show is that the optimal dose of sorafenib is 400 milligram twice a day when added to a myeloablative fractionated busulfan regimen. And with that, we are seeing one year uh, progression-free survival of close to 90 in about 20, 90% in about 24 Pa uh, you know, 24 patients. Obviously, with this dose, we are now taking it to, uh, 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 into, to a phase two setting and a larger trial is underway. We use the same principle and added venetoclax, which has been shown very useful when added to things like azacitidine or even conventional chemotherapy in improving remission rate and reducing relapse rate in patients with AML. So we added venetoclax 400 milligrams to a standard three-week or two-week fractionated busulfan regimen. And what we find again is it is very well tolerated. And uh, so, so the initial data in, in, in more than 30 patients, we show that this is safe. And again, the day, early data are encouraging. The follow-up is short, uh, but I think we have already started a next generation of trial. Uh, using this particular agent at 400 milligrams per day with this regimen in higher risk AML and DS group to see if we, are, we will see any reduction in relapse rate.